Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on least square fit. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to generate the least square fit line for a given set of points. Before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on using plots interactively, loading data from files and getting started with arrays. Let us start this tutorial with the help of an example. Generate a least square fit line for L versus T square using the data in the file pendulum.txt. We have an input file generated from a simple pendulum experiment. It contains two columns of data. The first column is the length of the pendulum and the second is the corresponding time period of the pendulum. As we know, the square of the time period of a pendulum is directly proportional to its length. We shall plot L versus T square and verify this. To read the file input, and pass the data, we are going to use the load.txt function. Switch to the terminal now. We can see that L and T are two sequences containing length and time values correspondingly. So let us first plot L versus T square. So type in the terminal ipython space hyphen pylab. Then type L comma T is equal to load txt within brackets in double quotes slash home slash fossi slash pendulum dot txt comma unpack is equal to true then bracket close then type L then secondly type T we can see that there is a visible linear trend but we do not get a straight line connecting them we, sh we shall therefore generate a least square fit line we will first generate the two matrices T is Q that is T square and A then we will use the least square that is LST SQ function to find the values of M and C. So type TSQ is equal to T star T then hit enter. Then type plot within brackets L comma TSQ comma within single quote D O then hit enter. Let us now generate the A matrix with L values. We shall first generate a 2 into 90 matrix that is 2 by 90 matrix with the first row as L values and the second row as 1s. Then take the transpose of it. So type in the terminal inter underscore mat that is INTER underscore mat is equal to array within bracket L comma one underscore like then within brackets one then closing bracket. Now you can see an error. Now the error is in the one underscore like function we accidentally type one instead of L. So you have to put L there. So we can see that we have intermediate metrics. Now we need the transpose. So type on the terminal A is equal to inter underscore mat dot T. Then type A, then hit enter. Now we have both the matrices A and T square, that is TSQ. We only need the to use the LST SQ function. So type result is equal to LST SQ within brackets A comma T SQ where LST SQ stands for least square. The result is a sequence of values. The first item in the sequence is the matrix T that is the values of M and C. So type m comma 
space C is equal to result within square brackets 0 then type M then type C so you can see the output now that we have M and C so we need to generate the fitted values of T square so type on the terminal TSQ underscore FIT is equal to M star L plus C then type plot within bracket 1 L comma TSQ comma within single quotes B O then before typing that plot you have to type clear function then type plot within bracket L comma TSQ comma BO now I can see the plot then type plot within bracket L comma TSQ underscore fit comma R for the line so we get the least square fit of L versus T square so this brings us to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to generate a least square fit using matrices use the function least square to generate a least square fit line so here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve what does once underscore light 1 comma 2 comma 3 produce the options array 1 comma 1 comma 1 then just 1 comma 1 comma 1 in square brackets then in square brackets 1 point 0 comma 1 point 0 1 po comma 1 point 0 then the fourth option is error and the second question is the plot of u versus v is a bunch of scattered points that show a linear trend how do you find the least square fit line of u versus v and we'll look at the answers the functions one underscore like in one comma two comma three will generate array one comma one comma one. So that is the first question's answer. And the second one, the following set of commands will produce the least square fit line of U versus V. So A is equal to array with in brackets U comma one underscore like U dot T then line in command result is equal to least square within as uh, that is L S T S Q within brackets a comma v then type m comma c is equal to result then square bracket zero then the final command is lst underscore line is equal to m star u plus c that is m multiplied by u well as c so we hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful thank you